yeah hi everyone so i'll show you how we can emit uh, the particle from the object i'll show you now so first i'll have to create again the particle from here right so particles will be this uh, emit from object so before that we have to do you know a little bit animation over the object so i'll use dynamic pure dynamic there will be no key animation okay so just see this carefully first i'll create a object right and this object uh, i'll decrease the value of the segments so i just kept 10 by 10 now <clears throat> manually uh, we are not going to animate here so if this object will be here okay just increase the value right and go to in the first frame so this is the first frame zero and uh, from here it's going to uh, like bounce this ball to here and till end of this grid so go to here and uh, uh, in uh, this option which is called fill and solver and here we will use this option uh, create active rigid body or passive rigid body so here will be dynamic active and here if <clears throat> there will be no dynamic options enabled only it is considered in the viewport so first thing is i'll create the floor so this floor will be this right now select the object go to again in the fill and solver and i can use this as an active rigid body so once you will click over this it's automatically applied the rigid body solver over this object now go to in the first frame once you will play you will see there will be no action happening here so we have to add this gravity so if we have added this gravity it is going to work like this right so we want you know the collision so how it's going to collide first select this object go to here and say passive collider passive collider means it is going to act over this object right so go to in the first thing and uh, if you select then you will see you know the options in the right hand side this is the rigid body properties and from here we will increase the x velocity right if i say 5 in the x direction it is going to do like this but the problem is actually we want you know a little bit more the bounciness over this object so go to you know bit down here you will find the bounciness I can keep 1.5 go back and check see it is uh, now happening the animation so here I want to apply particles over this object right so go to in the particle and this time we will use emit particle emit from object so inside this you will see you know different types of emitters so already i explained in the previous session so now this time i'll select the omni one right so from here actually it's going to emit from all the directions so we will keep this only say create now go to in the first frame and check so actually see it is like creating particles from the object but the problem is uh, the density of the particle is huge so go to in the first frame and first select the particle from here and uh, go to in the attribute editor there you will see particle option source inside the source you will see rate particle is 200 i just want to say 10 particle per second go to here and check. yes so now the thing is, uh, if I have created this particle, right, but we need some 
properties over this particle like gravity so first select the particle go to in the fill and solver and uh, select the gravity so gravity is added over this particle but it is not colliding at all with you know surface so first you have to select the particle and hold shift command again and select the floor and uh, go to n particle sorry n particle yes and say make collide and uh, inside that also you will see the same option which is geo connector and inside the geo connector we will have to say resilience uh, i say 0.5 yes so it is nicely you know bouncing uh, bounce happening but the problem is particle is moving like uh, it is uh, moving like very bad so what we can do uh, in the friction we will add some value over to this option now check yes so particle is now stable This is called the emitter uh, emit from the object so here you can take any object and uh, we can decide from which uh, particle type you want uh, sorry uh, means uh, emitter type you want you can change and here we will uh, go with uh, you know different shape so first I'll select uh, this uh, particle from here the source and inside the particle shape you will see the shape option which is in the render attribute and uh, from the particle render type we can change the shape types see this is the sphere if I say add attribute for current render type and I want to decrease the value for this I can decrease the value point one so now you can see and also you would like to go with different particle shapes you can change from these options like here you want you know like water drops or any other things you want to create you can select the render type from this option blobby surface uh, right clouds also you can see the clouds select the current render type and uh, radius is this you would like to increase like this you can multi points Wow, multi streaks. So these are the types, render types, you can change from this option. And uh, this can be uh, changes done from this option only. And uh, colors you can add. This time I'll use this spherical option and uh, from here i want to stop you know uh, this particle from this section or like i want to uh, add the end of this particle so how you will do this go to here here you will see some options particle per particle array attributes right from here you will see general opacity and color so from the general section you will see particles you know these are the particles from here you can use any expressions like if i go with radius dot pp see if i have added this here then you will see radius pp comes automatically in this section if you do right click then from here you can do one thing which is create ramp so using the ramp you can decide 
the end of this particle so go to in the edit section and uh, from here i can do like this the problem is uh, here if it is white means the particle is very big uh, so if you go with little bit darker then you will see you know particles automatically uh, come little smaller like this so go to in the first frame check see wow I can decide the tail of this. And in this particle, you would like to change the color or the style of this. You can. How? If it is in sphere, then you can see the size of this. Huh? If you have changed uh, the shape from this section, like this one, then you can see. Huh? Or else like it will be like this only so if I change it to sphere then you can see the end of this you know uh, particle shape so I can decide uh, in uh, here only in this radius dot pp option so do again right click say edit ramp and from here I can change it will work only with black and white option uh, colors uh, these are the shades actually this is not the color so in this shade we can manage the size of this particle like this see so how particle is behaving you can decide like this way